Hello everyone. Let's learn chapter 9 internet services. Internet. Internet stands for a international network. An internet is a network of a network. Internet is the technology by which millions of a computer in the world are connected to each other and sharing information from one computer to another computer. And a computer is connected to internet by a means of a cable, telephone wires or a some wireless mediums of a communications. And the computer connected to the internet can easily access the information available from all around the world uh, with the help of an internet. And you can also send the message instantly or even talk to your family, friends online, no matter where are they are and the only need to have a computer with an internet connection. Now let's learn uses of an internet. So there are a lot of uses of the internet when you work on the internet uh, and you can search for information on any topic, send and receive email messages to your friend or uh, family and you can also do chat online chatting with your family and our friends, playing online games, uh, listen to music and watch video, pays your online or utility bills or uh, online do online shopping and uh, book tickets. Now here are some requirements for an internet connections. Uh, to connect your computer to the internet, uh, you need the following things, a computer or a devices, a uh, modem or a network card, software which, uh, which is called uh, as a called web browser, a telephones or a cable line, a company providing internet connection which is called the internet service provider. So let's learn internet terms. Some commonly used internet term are below uh, website, website pages, world wide web, web browsers, home pages and a URL. Now I'll go with the websites. A website is a collection of related web pages that provide information about a topic. And uh, websites address start with the www like www.yahoo.com.in uh, or www.google.com and etc. So next is a web pages. This is our web pages. A web page is a page on a website. It contain text, picture, sound, videos and animation and etc. And it is stored in an electronic form, a computer connected to the internet. Next is a world wide web. So www stands for a world wide web. It is the largest collection of information in a form of a websites on the internet. Web browsers. A web browser is a software application for accessing information on a www. And these websites open in a special software known as a web browser like Opera, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, uh, Firefox Internet Explorer and uh, Microsoft Edges. Now next is a home page. When you browse any uh, website or open any web browser, the first page that open up is a call of home page. And last is a uniform resource locator called a URL. Every website on an internet has a unique address. Uh, same as if you uh, the, uh, like uh, you have a name. So same as it is every website on our internet has a unique address like this address of a website is called a URL. Now here are some disadvantage of an internet. So the internet can help children in a learning or a many ways but it's better to be used only for a good causes. So uh, some of the disadvantage of an internet for our children are it affects focus on our uh, patients and uh, waste your time and uh, make us lazy and causes health uh, use issues and uh, obesities and affects also your eyes and uh, it makes you feel disconnected from the real world. An advantage of an internet is 
uh, you can you connect with the thousands of uh, people or uh, uh, you can also shop online bit, uh, without going a market and also save your time and up to date news is uh, current affairs and online uh, uh, we can also uh, do online advertisements advertisement and uh, we can also do work from home or many kind of operations or uh, activities so now let's learn uh, some famous inventor tim berner lee invented www on the other hand mark zuckerberg the uh, founder of uh, facebook and larry page and asagri uh, brin inventors of uh, google now our chapter is completed thank you so much